Elon Musk has been working on a number of futuristic projects, including self-driving automobiles, space travel, and now humanoid robots. It should come as no surprise to anyone at this point that when Tesla unveiled the long-awaited humanoid robot Optimus in October, both supporters and haters promptly voiced their opinions. But what is this robot really? What can it do? And is it the start of what they refer to as robots being the future of humanity? In today's video, we'll talk about Tesla's first humanoid robot. Okay, let's begin. For many years, businesses like Amazon and Google have attempted to develop robots that can move and, in a deceptively challenging feat, pick up or work on objects with mechanized claws or hands. That technological holy grail, which would enable businesses to replace human workers with endless robots, hasn't been achieved. Elon Musk, CEO of Tesla, on the other hand, has been warning about the dangers of AI-powered robots for years, even forecasting scary outcomes like in The Terminator, but now he seems to be taking action before humanity is wiped. Musk's track record of caution against AI robots. Musk is well known for his support of and work on artificial intelligence, but he has long been against the rapid expansion of robotics, frequently mentioning a movie that was released when he was just 13 years old. In 2014, Musk said on CNBC's Closing Bell, I like to just keep an eye on what's going on with artificial intelligence. There have been movies about this, you know, like The Terminator. There are some terrifying scenarios. 2017, Musk made another public allusion to The Terminator, describing his neurotechnology company Neuralink, which wants to create brain implants for people to interact with machines. As a defense mechanism against a threat like Skynet, the AI antagonist from the 1984 film. On Twitter, he stated, that is the inspiration, to avoid AI becoming other. Later that year, while addressing the National Governors Association, a nonpartisan political group with headquarters in Washington, D.C., at its annual summer convention, Musk reiterating his warning. In his address, Musk asserted that robots will be able to do everything better than us. I am exposed to the most cutting-edge AI, and I believe that this should cause people to be very concerned. Shortly after, Musk tweeted some more critique, this time focused on a popular video of a parkour-performing robot created by Boston Dynamics, a robotics company based in Waltham, Massachusetts. This is nothing. That robot will move so quickly in a few years that you'll need a strobe light to see it. Good night. But joke's on us because in October 2022, Elon Musk debuts Tesla robot, Optimus, calling it a fundamental transformation. But before that, at Tesla's AI Day, Musk took the stage to present the first Tesla humanoid, which he claims will revolutionize physical work. As expected, supporters loved his robot, but a lot also called him out because of his past claims. The robot's prototype entered the stage and waved to the spectators sitting in their seats. In a video, the robot portrayed several human activities, such as moving metal bars, carrying a box, and even watering plants, the manufacturer's factory. Tesla CEO stated, This is really the first time the robot has been operated without a tether on stage today. We didn't want it to crash to the ground. The billionaire hopes to move beyond self-driving cars, which despite his repeated promises, have not yet materialized, by claiming that a robot business will be worth more than its cars. Before we continue, we'd like to ask for a few moments of your time. If you want to support us, please leave a like and click on the subscribe button. This would help us create more engaging content for you. Now moving back to where we left off. At the gathering at a Tesla office in Palo Alto, California, Musk stated, Our goal is to develop a usable humanoid robot as soon as possible. Musk claimed that present humanoid robots were missing a brain, that they lacked the intelligence to inadequately explore the world, and that they were also very expensive and produced in small quantities. He added, There's a lot of work to be done to enhance Optimus and prove it. In contrast, he claimed Optimus would be a highly capable robot that would eventually be produced in millions of units in very high production and for less than 20000 making it much less expensive than a car. On the other hand, Musk was also supposed to talk about Tesla's long-delayed self-driving technology. Without obtaining full self-driving capability, the CEO of the most valuable manufacturer in the world stated in May that the company would be worth basically zero. The company also confronts increasing regulatory inquiries in addition to technological challenges. Musk posted on Twitter on late Wednesday that the gathering was intended to find engineers and promise plenty of technical information and interesting hardware demos. Tesla has had a mixed history with live demonstrations. Launches are usually met with applause, but in 2019 when Musk ordered a worker to throw a steel ball at a new electric pickup truck's armored window, the glass broke. Therefore, the robot's ability to manage unforeseen circumstances will now be its main test. Musk revealed Tesla's plans for humanoid robots at its AI day in August of last year. The year's event was postponed until the robot prototype was operational, with the goal of starting production perhaps next year. Tesla used a picture of metallic robotic hands forming a heart shape to preview the release of the bot on social media. However, creating flexible human-like hands that made handle a variety of objects is incredibly difficult, according to Henny Ben Amore, an Arizona State University robotics expert. 
According to Musk, optimists initially would do tedious or hazardous tasks, such as transporting components around Tesla plants or tightening a bolt to a car with a tool, a reference to the strong and kind leader of the Autobots and the Transformers media universe. There are so many dexterous human abilities that are really difficult for robots to replicate, and it won't change whether the robot is an arm or a humanoid, according to Jonathan Hurst, Chief Technology Officer of Agility Robotics, a company that makes humanoid robots. However, Musk has nonetheless stated that in the future, robots can be used in households to prepare meals, mow the lawn, look after the elderly, and even act as a human's buddy or even as a sex partner. <laughs> will you have sex with a robot? Hmm. Musk has stated that he anticipates Tesla will achieve self-driving this year and to mass-produce a robot taxi that is devoid of a steering wheel and pedal by 2024. Very ambitious. What specs do these Tesla bots have? The Tesla bots will be available in 23, even though Optimus still appears like a project for the distant future. The Tesla bot will be identical to the actual cars in terms of capability at 5 foot 8 and 125 pounds. It will essentially be a moving computer that can move about and do things. There's a screen on its face that will display all the information the owner requires. They will be physically able to carry roughly 45 pounds and deadlift 150 pounds. They will, however, walk at an excruciatingly sluggish 5 miles per hour. Although these mechanical limitations were deliberate attempts to prevent harm to humans, the future is here. Let's just hope it doesn't involve a Skynet-style robot takeover of us and the world. Humanoid may still be in its early days, but they will soon change the way we tackle both simple and challenging activities. There were plenty of skeptics when the Ford Model T was debuted in 1908, and it received a lot of criticism. The Model T was a triumph, nonetheless, since it showed that mass production of cheap transportation was feasible. Tesla's most recent humanoid project aims to demonstrate this. So maybe it's not that bad to say that humanoids will probably be the next most important invention we make for humanity, on par with personal computers, cell phones, the internet, and many other general purpose technologies. Maybe we can trust in Elon Musk's delivery estimates because we are aware of how swiftly he tends to grill his employees. What do you think though? Let us know in the comment section down below. If you want more content related to this topic, make sure to check out our channel. Take care and we'll see you in the next video.